Here we will review the basic operation of Novo Pro Remote Manager Software, which is a tool to manage and configure all of the Novo Pro devices on a network installation from a single PC desktop rather than individually in each installed location. Let's start by opening Remote Manager and adding the devices to our list. This can be done manually one by one or automatically using the device discovery feature. To add a device manually, simply click on the plus device button, which will open a pop-up window called Create New Device. Enter a description and IP address for the device you wish to add. You can assign the device to a group later, then click OK to finish adding a device. The recommended way to add a large number of devices is to utilize Device Auto Discovery. After clicking on Device Discovery, you will see two submenu options, Discover Devices and Generate Configuration File. In order to search for devices using Discovery, we must first set the devices up with the basic settings required so that they connect to the network and are found by the device discovery process. The first step in this process is to use the Generate Configuration File function to create a configuration file for Novo Pro devices being deployed on the network. In order to generate a configuration file, start by entering the information in the pop-up window shown here. This includes selecting either the Education or Corporate Edition of the software running the devices in your installation setting a password to prevent unauthorized manipulation or changes to the device, choosing the Wi-Fi SSID and password if the device is connecting to your network as a Wi-Fi client, as well as information about the Remote Manager software installation. This IP address is the address of the computer on which Remote Manager has been installed and is running. We recommend you install Remote Manager on a machine that can be assigned a fixed IP address. This will allow devices to report to Remote Manager installed at this address as long as it does not change. The indicated port number is the port used for this service, which is documented in the Network Deployment Guide. This should only be changed if it conflicts with some service on your network. Report period defines how often the device will report its existence to the server. Once all of this information is entered, the file can be saved to a micro SD card. This will allow you to load these settings into each Novo Pro during the installation process. In my computer, the micro SD card is the D drive. You will see that it is saved as a file called novoautoconfig.xml. Now we'll see how to use the configuration file we just created to configure a newly unboxed Novo Pro device. Once the device has booted and arrived at the home screen shown here, insert the micro SD card with the configuration file into the slot on the device. The device will automatically detect the insertion of an SD card loaded with a configuration file. This will launch an auto configuration window and a countdown of 30 seconds to allow you to confirm that you want to auto configure the device. If you have connected a mouse to the device, you can immediately click Confirm to proceed to the next step or click Cancel to prevent the configuration from loading. Otherwise, you can just wait 30 seconds and the configuration file will then be applied. Once the configuration file starts to take effect, you will notice the addition has changed to Education and Wi-Fi will be configured as set in the file. If you set a password, any additional changes you attempt to make with the mouse will require this password. Now let's get back to the Remote Manager application and choose Discover Devices. You will see that the first device found immediately is the unit we entered and added manually in the beginning of this video. Notice its Added box is already checked. Next, you notice a new device is added into the list. This is the device found through Auto Discovery process. To select and add this device, click the checkbox on the left and then choose Add to open the Create a New Device window where we can name and group the unit. We will simply accept the default description and leave the group blank for now. 
Hit OK to complete the process. You will see that it is added to the list and shows a green status as online. Now that the device is connected and showing a green status light, click on the line to select that device and click the Settings button to remotely configure a variety of device settings, such as display resolution and Wi-Fi network, among many others. Whatever can be configured on the home screen, you can change remotely from Remote Manager. From this settings window, you can also perform firmware upgrades, quick resets, full reset, or upload a configuration file. You can change the device name here. You can also set, change, or remove the settings protection password. You can change the display settings and language and enable HDMI CEC option. You can turn off Wi-Fi or change to another Wi-Fi network here as well as to set up a hotspot operation. Going back to the list of devices, we can set up groups for unified operation. To create a group, click the plus group button and enter the name of the new group and a description if necessary. Then select devices to join this group. By combining devices into a group, you could perform firmware upgrades, device resets, and configure the home screen for a number of units with one operation. This is much more efficient than configuring each device one by one. To learn about configuring the home screen, be sure to watch the next video about advanced remote manager topics.